Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Bats, a horror film about mutated bats that are taking over the entire Texas town. It stars Lou Diamond Phillips from the movie La Bamba, Stan and Deliver, and Young Guns, along with Dina Meyer from Starship Troopers, Bob Gutton from Book and Arrow, and Carlos Jacot, who was in an episode of Seinfeld. It's written by John Logan, who went on to do a lot of writing for movies like Gladiator, The Aviator, Rango, and Hugo. And it's directed by Louis Manuel, who directed the movie Carnosaur 2. The movie begins set in the back caves of Skull Valley, Arizona. Dr. Sheila Casper, played by Dina Meyer, has been doing a field research towards the bats, along with her assistant, Jimmy Sands, played by Leon. Unfortunately, they were interrupted by the Center of Disease Control that's run by a specialist, Dr. Top Hodge, played by Carlos Jacot, along with Sheriff Emmett Kimsey, played by Lou Diamond Phillips. As a result, they went straight to Gallup, Texas to search for the bat's rooting area, only to find out that one of the victims were actually killed that night, in which those attacks alone turned out to be mutated bats that were created by a mad scientist named Dr. Alexander McCabe that's played by Bob Gutton and they team up to stop these mutated bats from attacking the entire town from harming them so they started setting traps in order to stop them before it's too late well when I remember hearing about this movie coming from these ads and billboards everywhere this actually came out when I was in high school at the time it was considered to be a project that's supposed to come out during Halloween and it was kind of considered as a Halloween movie but it plays out like a tradition of the movie The Birds that Alfred Hitchcock had created and it's sort of similar to The Birds you know, except you have bats that are very ugly looking but yet they're actually very cool to look at nevertheless because most of them are actually very creepy and very strange and but usually bats always feeds you know fruits and nectar during the night but these aren't ordinary bats of course these are just mutated bats that attack people as well as animals which is very scary when you think about it but this is of course considered to be the movie distributor destination films this first feature um, and yes this was their first film that they created came out on Friday October 22nd to be exact in fact it came out almost at the same time as that awful movie called Elmo and Grouch Man but I think I'd rather see this movie more than, than that piece of crap but you get the idea. I know a lot of people hated this movie. I'm sure most people have. But some people actually did enjoy this. And, and, and I was actually one of them because I didn't think this movie wasn't so bad at all. Sure, it was supposed to be a B movie. It was meant to be one. A B horror film that's so bad it's good. Yeah, I had a great cast too. I love the chemistry between Lou Diamond Phillips and Dina Meyer. I think they definitely work together, no matter what, along with their assistant, you know, who's played by Leon, you know, another great actor. And Bob Gunn, you know, you gotta admit, um, you gotta give him credit. I think he did a very excellent job playing a mad scientist. I mean, it's, it's funny how we never expected him to be the man behind all this, but it's hard to believe that, you know, he's he was the kind of job he had to deal with. But he wanted to stop him, nevertheless. But unfortunately, he was up to no good. It's as ridiculous as this movie gets. You gotta admit, it does have a classic feel to it. It plays out. It's very uh, frightening. It's very scary at times. With, with all of them attacking, I have to admit, it was 
It was actually very fun to watch. What's interesting though was that there were two versions of this movie. The one that came out theatrically was rated PG-13. But the DVD on the other hand, which I have already, was R-rated. So they added some scenes in the film that made it up for an R rating. There was even an F word in this movie too. So that, that makes it up for it. Which could have been PG-14 still. It's pretty tame by its standards. but That's all you had to deal with. But I really did enjoy that. I didn't think it wasn't as bad as some people think. I mean, but I guess if, you know, if you're in the mood for a scary movie, maybe some... Like maybe on a day when when there's nothing right in the world or something. It's definitely worth a look. Because it's better than any any of these bad horror films that we often see nowadays. And trust me, they're way worse than this movie. If not better. But I was surprised that John Logan was the writer for this movie. We would later expand a career with movies like Gladiator and The Aviator as well as Rango. Hugo. Yeah. I think he turned out to be a, an excellent screenwriter, considering the fact that he wrote this movie. He's also the executive producer for this film, too, as well, so you gotta give him credit. But anyway, I give Bats three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.